Did anyone else just completely forget that Kendall Jenner and ASAP Rocky dated? Dating or being seen with white women. I'm sure people on social media, do they come at you I, I wouldn't know. Like you smashed Kendall Jenner, bro? No, it was just a picture. This was Rihanna's face while Kendall Jenner walked the runway. Maybe it's a little jealousy. There's a reason why Rihanna doesn't like Kendall Jenner. Their feud goes way back, and it centers around ASAP Rocky. Rihanna has been with ASAP for years now, and they have two kids together. But ASAP Rocky dated Kendall Jenner before Rihanna, and they had an intense relationship for several years, until ASAP was exposed for cheating on Kendall. This is a messy situation, so let's get into it. So I want to talk to you guys about what really happened between Kendall Jenner and ASAP Rocky. We all know that ASAP Rocky is happy with Rihanna and they have two children together. But once upon a time, ASAP was involved in the Kardashian clan because he was, you know, kind of dating Kendall Jenner, which I'm surprised because... I think Kendall Jenner is the least likable out of all of them. I want to hear your guys' opinion in the comments below. For some reason, I just, I wouldn't want to meet Kendall Jenner. She doesn't seem too friendly. But these two started hanging out in late 2016. The two were spotted at Coachella together in April 2017, where they were reportedly super cozy and super close. Oh, Coachella, it seems like that's where celebrities will come together and kind of announce their relationships. It's like every year we get a new couple, but um, back in 20. 16, it seems like Kendall and ASAP were trying to keep their romance on the low because they made a photographer delete pictures of them. Now, this story came out at 4 a.m. in the morning because they were at a nightclub together and they were trying to cover up this relationship. The 20-year-old fashion model, Kendall Jenner, reportedly put her foot down when a photographer snapped her likeness outside squares, Quality Brand's new nightclub in the Nomad District out in New York. Quote, Kendall wouldn't allow pictures because the rumors of her and ASAP are still not confirmed. Other witnesses say Kendall used her bodyguards for cover up as she made her way to the VIP section to go and meet up with ASAP Rocky. Of course, ASAP Rocky is in the industry and he does his own interviews and people have asked him about this relationship with Kendall. Dating or being seen with white women, I'm sure people on social media, do they come at you I that? I wouldn't know, but it I don't only just date white women. I mean, I know I like you don't. I, I know you don't, but I'm just yeah. saying, like, there was a picture of you and say Kendall Jenner, and I know people would be like, "Oh my God, I you can't." You smashed Kendall Jenner, bro? He's no, it was stupid, just a picture man. of them out. Now they were spotted together in Paris, which is very romantic. I've never gone to Paris, but I'd love to go one day. I feel like I want to go with a boyfriend one day and just like do all the things like the Eiffel Tower, even though it's probably like so like touristy, I still want to see it. And all, it looks like the two went to one of Kendall's favorite restaurants. And I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name. Actually, it looks like it's just La Avenue, which that's pretty easy. <laughs> a few weeks after they were seen together in Europe, Kendall returned to LA and they were spotted together on October 4th. They arrived at a hotel together, which um, you guys know what that probably means. They were also spotted a few months later in Miami. And at this rate, it seems like a full blown relationship. The pair spent quite a bit of quality time in Miami together for the Art Basel festivals, spending the night side by side while clubbing until the wee hours of the morning and acting, quote, very flirty. Out in Miami, witnesses say the two left the venue together in the same car and then spent five minutes at a Walgreens, later exiting the drugstore separately. After the stop, they were spotted entering the hotel around 4.30 a.m., which is a little bit too late for me. It sounds like they had a crazy night out. I wonder what they got at Walgreens, though. Like, what do you need to get at Walgreens in the wee morning? Maybe, like, toothpaste? But also, she's Kendall Jenner. Doesn't she have people to do that for her? I don't know. I don't know how that level of celebrity works. I wouldn't want to have all those people doing things for me, but um, I could see her wanting that for sure. That same month in December, they were spotted together in Malibu on a dinner date. Thankfully, Kendall is of age at this point. I mean, she's able to drink. She's 21 and he is 28 and they were spotted out at Nobu. Then about a month later, they're seen again in Paris, which is another trip the couple are taking together. Granted, she was working. She was walking the runways, but ASAP Rock, he followed her there and it seems like they are in a full-blown secret relationship. A source said that Kendall has now been linked to the rapper for months and has been spending more time with Rocky and she's open to seeing where it goes. Now, of course, they aren't confirming anything here, but ASAP was asked by the paparazzi what's going on and here's what he had to say. What's up, Rocky? How's it going, man? What's up, man? You doing all right today, bro? Uh -huh. How are things going between you and Kendall Jenner? Y'all ever gonna make it official? Nothing? 
no comment. <laughs> you two make a good couple. Going ahead to their next Coachella together, Kendall showed up with a posse just for ASAP's performance, and they were all over each other. Kendall started rapping, oh god, to ASAP's song "Effin' Problems. ASAP was laughing at her. She took the big Gucci goggles and was wearing it off his head, put them on, and started dancing. I still can't get the image of Kendall Jenner rapping out of my mind. Moving on, one day before the Met Gala, we saw these two shopping with Hailey Bieber at the time, all getting their last minute buys in before they had the big night. The two were spotted together at the Met Gala and they were not shy when it came to PDA. So it seems like at this point they're comfortable with each other enough to kind of take that step. Did anyone else just completely forget that Kendall Jenner and ASAP Rocky dated? Because it's like Met Gala season I think is happening tonight and people are reposting pictures and Kendall Jenner, remember when she wore that dress where her was out? Yeah, well, her and ASAP went to that together. And I all of a sudden remember that they actually dated. Like they were just dating. And I know that's not like a crazy concept, but also it kind of is because now he has like two kids and is married to Rihanna. And it feels like he's so far from that. But in reality, that was like a couple years ago, maybe. Also really Kendall has dabbled in all types of men. Like she's dated Harry, she's dated ASAP, she's dated athletes, she's dated Bad Bunny, like this woman. One of the reasons why I believe these two were in fact dating was because they did have a breakup and supposedly ASAP Rocky was to blame. In May 2017, ASAP was accused of cheating on Kendall Jenner with a reality star. Now, it turns out they're both reality stars because, you know, Kendall Jenner is from Keeping Up With The Kardashians, but this woman is named Tyree and she's from Love & Hip Hop New York. Tyree was actually arrested on May 5th for beating up her former friend Elise, and now Elise is getting her revenge by spilling all of the Love & Hip Hop star's secrets. She recently shared a lengthy post to Instagram where she not only called out Tyree, but also dragged the rapper relationship with Kendall. She said this is the same person who uses social media to create a fake fantasy life, but at home she's crying at night because the guy she's been effing ain't take her to the Met Gala and took Kendall Jenner instead. So really this girl Elise is hurt because she was physically hurt and beat up by Tyree. So she's like, you know what, I'm gonna air out your dirty laundry. And she says, hey, like screw this girl, but also um, she's been sleeping with ASAP Rocky. She's all insecure crying because ASAP Rocky is talking to Kendall. So now we're learning that this girl is sleeping with ASAP and we're learning it because the girl's like old friend is, you know, exposing her. I've been friends with her for five years now. I've met her when I was 18 and now I'm 23 and she's still the same person. This is the same person who uses social media, a fantasy life, but at home she crying at night because the dude she was effing ain't take her to the Met Gala and took Kendall Jenner instead. This is the same person that's been dotting and bopping for free and has been in a game for how long and still no dude claim her or gave her the ring yet? Ask me why I would be jealous. I never wanted the fame nor attention, but she tried it with the lies. This is the same person that stalks her ex page and bashes him and his girl all the time. See what happens when you don't humble yourself? Mm -mm -mm. Now, I don't think ASAP Rocky and Kendall Jenner were in it for the long run. I mean, she's only 21, he's closer to 30 at this point, and his stepmom was pretty vocal about not liking Kendall. Reports write that everything she hears about the Kardashians make her think that ASAP could do better. She doesn't want him involved in their circus, and he had a rough time after losing his dad and his brother. Well, his stepmom doesn't have to worry because he moved on to Rihanna, which I'm not sure if she approves of Rihanna, but I can't imagine her not approving of Rihanna. Maybe Kendall is a little bit jealous, though. There's speculation that Kendall feels a type of way of expressing herself about Rihanna and Aesop's relationship, especially with them having kids. And she has a moment with her mom on the show. And it seems like it was set up for her to kind of like, you know, bring closure to this or for her to feel better about being alone. Saying that she wants to wait on having children. She wants to figure out herself that she's enjoying life on her own. I mean, it's time to, you know, have a baby. <laughs> you just choke up. <coughs> get uncomfortable. You keep telling me you're not getting any younger, but guess what, Mom? What? It's my life, okay? Really? I don't know if I'm ready yet. <laughs> Are you sure it's your life? I still have a lot I need to figure out before I can, like, welcome a child into my life. Like, I'm still, like, just enjoying life on my own, and I'm okay with that right now. 
I'm kind of like, what storyline is this? It's so boring to me. I mean, really, does she need to be thinking about kids when she's so young? It just seems like they have nothing else to talk about. Unless Kendall is really that insecure over, you know, Rihanna getting pregnant. But I have a blind item from 2017 I want to read to you guys. It reads, very, very interesting. That quick as you can rapper spent a fortune trapezing through Europe. He makes a decent living, but apparently this A-list reality star with a side gig financed the whole thing maybe to repay the favor that he is always being linked to her when we all know that it will never happen insinuating that kendall kind of like i guess funded their traveling and their relationship because i mean at this point she was walking on all the fashion shows making a ton of money and i'm sure she's still doing that nowadays but that's a lot more than what some of these rappers would make on tour remember that rihanna and kendall had their own interaction before because kendall was going to one of rihanna's concerts kendall tweeted if rihanna doesn't perform complicated tomorrow i'm gonna be very upset hashtag fave song Bad girl Riri, Rihanna's account, replied, well, don't come. People were laughing at this because essentially Rihanna was like, screw you, I'll do what I want to do. And it's probably very humbling for a Kardashian Jenner to hear something like that. And you guys know that Kendall, ASAP Rocky, Rihanna, they all go to the same events because they're all A-list celebrities. In 2018, there's reports that at the Met Gala, Rihanna was making fun of Kendall Jenner's tragic, quote, stick figure cakelessness at the show that her dress wasn't fitting her because her body did not have curves like Rihanna does. Now, I guess Rihanna was hosting a party at one of these Met Gala after shows, and um, essentially Rihanna was dressed up all really nicely. Kendall was wearing a plain kind of look, but you know, she's still a supermodel, so she looks great. Yet Rihanna had some snide comments to make. Quote, Rihanna was standing next to Kendall Jenner at the bar and loudly said, Good thing I have curves to pull this outfit off. I would hate to be a stick figure. Then she just stared at Kendall and laughed in her face and walked away. Which we do not support this mean girl behavior, but Rihanna seems like a very, you know, confident and confrontational woman and if she has her man she's gonna make sure that everyone in that room knows it's her man no longer kendall jenner's people think that rihanna and asap rocky are throwing shade at kendall jenner and here's why at the last show that kendall jenner walked at rihanna and asap rocky were in the crowd and people noticed they looked like this when kendall jenner walked by notice rihanna's face so when people caught wind of that the twitter memes began people said rihanna's face during kendall jenner's walk riri said i know y'all lying this was Rihanna's face while Kendall Jenner walked the runway. Also on a side note, if you don't remember, back in 2016, Kendall Jenner and ASAP Rocky were in some type of a relationship. So maybe it's a little jealousy, maybe there's some bad blood, or maybe it's a total coincidence. Needless to say, I don't think Rihanna is a fan of Kendall Jenner's, and I don't think Kendall Jenner's probably a fan of Rihanna's either. And I don't think they really need each other. At this point, Aesop is hopefully happy with his two kids and Rihanna, and they are living their best life. And you know, now we've heard that Kendall is single, her and Bad Bunny have broken up. Um, I do recognize they had like a language barrier. He even shared that he wasn't necessarily fluent in English. Obviously he was working on it, but um, I wonder what their relationship dynamic was like. If you guys want me to do a timeline of them, let me know in the comments below, but I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye guys.